Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and today I'm here with a new unboxing video of this time Sierra West, a game published by Board and Dice, designed by Jonathan Pak Kantin, and a solo mode, which might be interesting for this channel, dum dum dum, by David Turci. He does a lot of solo modes and he does them well. Alright, so Sierra West. Let's see what the box on the back said. In the late 1840s, thousands of pioneers headed west to seek wealth and opportunity. Many of these brave souls traveled by wagon over the Sierra Nevada mountain range into what would soon become the Golden State of California. In Sierra West, you're an expedition leader who must guide a party of rough and ready pioneers, employing a clever mix of strategy and tactics with, with each step. So this game it comes also with four modules. They're right over here on the right. Uh, Apple Hill, Boats and Banjos, uh, Gold Rush and Outlaws and Outposts. And you can already see a little bit of the components here. Uh, it plays in 40 to 60 minutes according to the box, ages 14 and up. So without further ado, let's check what's in this box. Ugh. That's open now. All right. So as usual, we have a rule book with the rules of play uh, colorful it's, it's not a small one it's uh, 31 well if you count the back 32 pages um, but of course I guess there is uh, an explanation for every module in there so four different modules each time you can play with a different one I don't think you can mix them uh, tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below uh, so everything is in here I have yet to read it, of course, uh, but it looks very clear. A lot of pictures, a lot of examples, and here are the components that we will see very soon. There we go. That's the first part of the components. Some punch board, uh, some tracks here. I think these depend on which modules you're playing. Also, promo for Teotihuacan. Uh, I pronounced that completely wrong. And for Die Settlers. Now, I don't have those games, but uh, it's cool that they put it in here. It's a smart uh, marketing, I guess. So, all these things here, uh, there we go. More tokens, and these are pretty cool. Uh, we have some fish tokens here, boot tokens and outlaw tokens, I guess. And this is one another board that I don't know what it's called, but you, that's what it is. And they're, of course, double-sided. There we go. I guess we have a starting player token or something of the gold expansion, some mine cards, and these uh, cabin tokens here. And let's just take one out of here. They're oh, they're uh, very decent quality. Yep, they're really good quality. That's always good to have. No flimsy stuff. No tokens that come apart. All right. Let's see. Oh, some animal. Uh, tokens here so you can put traps out there and hunt animals uh, don't know what it exactly does but that's a way also to play eat something with apples and uh, here we have a cabin with fish stuff and a canoe that's probably from the cane uh, canoe and banjo expansion then we have this puzzly thing here this will be the bottom of the uh, of the mountain I guess so you have to put the puzzle together and then you build the mountain on top of it and that's all the punch board we have we do have some more cardboard though uh, the player boards whoops like this so the player boards I'm going to zoom out a little bit um, so the player board uh, these are the special openings here and that's for the cards so let's show the cards while we're at it right so these are some cards uh, let's open these there we go so as you can see these cards are multi-use well they have all different symbols on them and you will be able to uh, slot these into all these things right over here like that because you have two rows you have two pioneers and they you are going to make them move over these symbols here and each time they do something different depending on on how you uh, place the, these cards and then you have also something special here 
I guess depending on this one, I'm not sure anymore. I saw one playthrough, but I'm uh, not completely sure of what they do. So, oh, every card has an animal on them, or at least I guess they all have them. Yep, the different animals um, and all different kinds of actions that you are will be able to take. Some orchards or some uh, apple trees here. Uh, I guess that's on the other side of the map. I'm not sure. But that's a bunch of cards. Let's continue. There are two more packs here. And I'm going to show all of them, of course. Otherwise, I would have to call it a half of an unboxing, of course. There we go. More cards, more of these apple trees. And, oh, raccoons. And this is apparently also with a canoe, I guess. So these are cards that you add. Uh, to the game if you're playing with a certain module. This is probably from the gold uh, and ore or whatever it was uh, module and so on. This is probably from the outlaw module as you see a gun there. So that's pretty cool. So each time you can decide what you feel like playing. Uh, you want to go go dig for gold, you add the gold module, you want to go catch fish with the canoe, you add that one, and so on. So for each one, this should be the outlaw one, right? So here also you can have a sh sheriff badge, uh, some wanted cards that are alive. So this is a module, uh, cartridges for revolver, pretty cool, these cards, I like the, uh, the style of this. And then... Uh, that's probably the other one that I already forgot how it was called. Uh, but as you can see, a lot of different cards, but you're not playing with all of them each game. So you just take your pick and that's it. Then we have this little package here. Let's open that quickly for you. I think these are the player aids. So the turn structure, what's happening, off turn actions and common icons and final scoring. Very cool, each player has one of these. So they were smart enough not to put this on one small card, but to make them a little bit bigger uh, so that everybody can have a good look at them. We have a bunch of pioneers in uh, different colors. Your pioneer meeples, which are pretty neat. Some food tokens, meat tokens, there you go. Nice bunch of meat. Let's see. I guess this will be the gold. Some discs in every player color. Wood. Yes, there is wood in this game as well. And I guess these are cards. Mining cards. There you go. Also in each player color. And also canoe pretty cool pretty cool and apparently this also works with a die it's a wooden die cool 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 all right and then last but not least some of these these probably are stone or something there we go all very decent quality very good stuff uh, also a nice insert which is always handy to have and uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to start reading some rules and maybe, I'm not promising anything, but maybe in the future, you'll see a playthrough, probably a solo one of Sierra West. Thanks for watching this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next videos as well. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.